Uh, yeah, but I don't have the materials on the ship to do it. And as we're about to uh, get some big major event, we'll be all right. We'll have to head up anyway, and I can convert this across to power cells in the next one. I just need some more food. I'm going to have one of these. Consume that. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. That's full. Um, switch that back. Water-wise, I'm going to switch that over. Drink that. One. Carry two of those. That should be all right. Yeah, ion stuff actually. It's not a. It's not upgrading your old batteries into ion. It's making brand new batteries. It's not just a case of taking an old battery and just smooshing it together with an ion cube. I wish it was like that. The Aurora gave me tons of batteries, but nope. No, we're going to have to make fresh batteries, because that's an ion cube, one silver, one gold. All available at the other base in vast quantities. And we also need silicon rubber for the, um, for the power cells, which requires me to go to the surface. Are you not stop nudging my ship? That's a power. Oh, we're doing good. Flip those off, and these things should feast upon... Oh. Engine. Maybe turning off the engine would help. They might consume slightly less power. I don't know. Right. Deploy. Vindictive little git. Apparently can't do anything to the Cyclops, but really wants to munch on my on me. Which is understandable, you know. Sort of. Now, because I actually know what's going to happen now, he's staying up here. Oi! Hello. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Right. You... Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Mustn't forget that at this point we're actually underwater. <laughs> Needing this strange thing called air. Excuse me, I'm just gonna maybe swim up to you and scan you. Oh, they are. Passive? Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. I'm back here, I'm gonna scan you! Here at this time. Ooh. Yoink. 
<laughs> You're gonna be helpful. Um, either way, no, right, that's, um... Let's head down here. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare, plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Catching enzyme. Whoa! Hello, you've landed. Hello. Well, we now have a hatching enzyme. And an ion cube. Hello. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Yeah. Um. Gonna need that. Um. I need to make that that hatching enzyme. Hello. Set course. And up. Boop. Yes. It's like a textbook landing. Yes, lovely. <laughs> Right. Look. Right, now I'm out of the water, I can actually read things. Uh-huh. More water. Yes. Thank you. Hatching enzymes. Okay. The emperor specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle, it seems... Likely the sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower water where different organic mineral uh, materials minerals oh materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens have resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would stimulate the egg's natural hatching environment simulate. Can't read for love nor money. But we're un unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using in indigenous ingre ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself. Have I been given the enzyme? Uh, hatching. I do not see a blueprint. Unless I am blind. Which is not the first time. Artifacts, yeah, don't care about those. Okay, maybe I do actually have to scan that person there. Excuse me, can you come down to the ground please? I need to scan you potentially so I can actually fabricate this thing. It's one of those. Oh, that's perfect. Hold on. Let's just. Hello? Yes, I'm flacking you down. Just, just grabbing some oxygen. Hello? Could you, could you land, please? Yes. Um. About this. Oh, no, no, come back. Oh, for God's sake. Fine. You know what? Ion cube. It's the only thing I can do. Stick an ion cube in there. 
Oh, oh, he wants to talk to me again. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. I like if him. you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. The cure. I think that's basically what it means. Though it's not going to give me... Oh. Okay, you're... Oh! That's it. Blow the crud off. Aha. Uh -huh. You want me to power it up? Sure thing, man. Sure thing. Here you go. Yoink. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Cool. Hatching enzyme. There you go. Ah, see? Because they wouldn't listen to her or help her. Don't get the hatching in time. Sea Emperor's life cycle. Well, I'm just regenerating oxygen at this point, so. Small herds around the planet's ocean trenches. Coming to the surface to feed of the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallow waters. Family size would be strictly limited to available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once in a lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely unless the creature itself tells you what to do. Uh, there is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune to the alien bacterium. Even if this is, even if this is so, there is evidence to end. Uh, there is evidence that indications of the bacteria decimate. Uh, of the planet and this would have catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. I've been nudged off. Symbiotic relationship between this species and other life forms likely develops as a direct result of the bacterium infection. Uh, those life forms which learn to keep the Emperor's Emperor ali alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. Very well. I will be back once I have gathered what you need. Now that I have the blueprint, I can look at its requirements and grab them. But in all likelihood that's going to be next time. There. Yep. Whoop. Ha ha. Gluck gluck gluck. Okay, the enzyme then, the hatching enzyme. Okay, 
A bulb bush? Yeah. Most of these will be through the portals. There's four portals. And a bulb. Once again, I'm diving back down in there because that thing that I was sitting above getting oxygen from is one of the things that I need. Excuse me. Hello, I'm back again. Don't mind me. Yeah, I just need to... Oh, is that brain coil? Did I just... That's a brain coral sample. Bulb bush. Nope. Huh. Spotted dock leaf. Peepers inside the containment facility. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was something. Ah, uh, maybe. Blue barnacle cluster. life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. A coral shell plate? Where? Pretty sure one of those five samples is in this room. Because there's four other portals. I just don't particularly feel the overwhelming urge to. Can we please just go up to the surface normally? It's so annoying. Fine. I'm going to swim along the surface. You it demented half wet. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the fact is, I don't know which one is in here. That is strange. Excuse me. I 
I'm determined to find it. It may not actually be here. I mean, but I'm pretty sure it is here. And while I'm regenerating on oxygen. I'll have to uh, grab a drink. There we go. We're full. All right. Give us a look. What we got down here? What we got down here? Right. Hello. What are you? Now that is one of the ones we need, a sea crown. There you go, sea crown. I stalk, fungal sample, a bulb bush, ghost weed. Okay, I don't think we'll find any more in here. But that was definitely one of the ones we needed. It is freaky not seeing those predators trying to munch my face off. Gonna have to admit, that it's a bit weird. Hello. Oh. Right. We had better get back to the ship and actually get out of here. Welcome aboard, Captain. We have to take it all the way back to base. Procedures. All systems online. Power wise, we are good. Engine. Power up. up. Flip. Online turn. That's where I need to get to eventually, but over this way. The head standard. Head standard. While we're moving, we will be regenerating, and no more of those parasites can latch onto the hull. in there. Oops, I wanted to turn that off. I mean, finding the way out could be a problem. That's what I found last time. Perfect. Like, I'd like to get back home now, please. Oh god. Head slow. Oh. Remember everybody, breathe in. 
Ooh. Ma. Pula. We're out. Okay, we're going up. I need to head that way. You're still regenerating power. Um, should be. Yeah, we are. Active ping. Well, there's a hole over there. Let's see if there's another one back. Keep going that way. Uh, head standard, please. Yeah, this looks like the way out. Yeah, those flashlights are bad. Let's use a chocolate teapot. Doesn't mean it's every so often I'm just gonna have to do an active ping. And just hope that I can regulate it enough that 43% is enough. Point. We can upgrade to ion. Well, we'll have some ion. I have to head back up to the surface with him, but it'll be possible. enough for them to regenerate power. Let's make sure that ticks up one more time. Yep, yeah, there we go. We're generating power. We have no parasites on our vessel. We're good. seems to think we are not in water anymore. Because apparently I don't need oxygen anymore. This 
this is a problem. Yeah. Come on, game. Okay. Well, apparently I'm going to need to re-log. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to end it there. I was hoping to actually get inside, but apparently... Apparently not. That, that, that's not a thing I'm able to do today. Which is... Fun. I don't have any water on me. Well, I mean, it could be just a simple case that I have to uh, die to get back up there. But, um, yes. So, next time, hopefully the game will realise I'm in water again and allow me to swim. Which is a problem if it doesn't. Just saying. Uh, we can grab the extra parts of the enzyme, do some power upgrades, and then hopefully get the cure. Turn off the laser, and then spend god knows how long building a shuttle to get off this hellhole. So that's probably the next few streams sorted. But, on that note, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC, out.